Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you never ever miss out whenever I post any new videos. So in today's video, it's basically a follow up to my last Jurassic World comparison video where I compared the minifigures from the Fallen Kingdom movie against their real life versions. This time, things are going to be a tiny bit different. Okay, maybe drastically different. Drastically different? Okay, <laughs> never mind. So I promised that I'd make a comparison for the dinosaurs. As a result, I decided to check out some of the new 2020 dinosaurs, comparing them against the real life versions from the movies. So without further ado, let's get started. Oh wait, <laughs> just a little heads up before I begin the video, I probably messed up a few of the images. So if you notice any errors with the side by side kind of pictures that I've included, do let me know in the comments. Anyway, without further ado, let's get right on to the video. First on the list, we have the baby triceratops. I think that the baby triceratops looks absolutely adorable. The horns are spot on. The eyes are super, super cute, which really stands out with the figure. It has a very accurate olive green color scheme with some darkish, lightish tan legs, and I love it. The head mold is great as well. And this baby triceratops is from the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom movie. So it's pretty recent and it's pretty new. Next on the list, we have the Gallimimus. I think the Gallimimus is a fantastic looking dinosaur figure. The skin pattern, skin printing rather, looks really, really great. With a dark flesh, light flesh, and reddish brown color scheme going on, it blends in really nicely. I'm a big fan of the long neck. The pattern found across its tail and its body up until the top of its head looks really, really cool and is super accurate. And the Gallimimus is definitely one of my favorites from the 2020 dinosaur line that LEGO has released. Next up, we have everyone's favorite, the Pteranodon. I really love how LEGO made a great looking green Pteranodon this time around because we got previous ones that are red and green. The different shades of green complements the Pteranodon very, very well. The wings with the claws look really epic. And again, the skin pattern printing is pretty accurate, especially around the head portion. I really wish there was more detail with the legs though, so maybe like a new like leg mold that um, mimics how the Pteranodon flies, you know, with like a, its legs being pushed back instead of just clips in the back. I guess that's too much to ask for, so never mind. Next up, we have my absolute favorite dinosaur, of all time the indominus rex the indominus rex is from the indominus rex versus ankylosaurus set and scene from the movie it looks really really epic as a dinosaur and as a lego dinosaur big big definitely my favorite of them all now where should i start <laughs> the head looks extremely detailed and super awesome with the teeth jaw and mouth detail that will never pass unnoticed by anyone i really love the white and gray color scheme going on the red eyes look super fierce and awesome it honestly can't get more accurate than this if you ask me the arms look very very nice i really love the claws and the sagging skin detail around the arms i really love the spikes going on along the back of the tail of the dino and the head mold looks really really accurate Overall, I'm super happy with how this dinosaur turned out, and the Indominus Rex is my favorite. So next on the list, we have the Ankylosaurus. Now, the Ankylosaurus is also from the Indominus Rex versus Ankylosaurus set and scene. I'm loving how there is a completely new mold for this dinosaur. The horns and the spikes look incredible, along with the printing found across the body and the head in dark flesh and tan. The two colors really, really complement each other, and the light bluish gray horns are awesome. And the new tail piece is super great as well. Overall, this dinosaur is very accurate and is excellent in my books. I figured that I'd pop in a super cute picture of a baby Ankylosaurus Lego figure. I couldn't really find a real life movie picture of a baby Ankylosaurus. Ankylosaurus, but nonetheless, I think it looks very accurate, just like its parent. Next up, we have Delta as a baby Velociraptor. Delta looks really, really cute. The printing on the back is pretty accurate, and I really like the horizontal stripes going on there. The mold for the baby dino is spot on, and I have no complaints here. Lego couldn't have done a better job with this one, in my opinion. The yellow eye print is also great, and I'm really sorry I couldn't find the proper photo for the baby version of Delta. I hope this will do. But either way, I actually found a photo of a bunch of baby velociraptors, so I figured I'd pop that in. As you can see, the scale of the figure is pretty accurate compared to the dinos from the movie, the baby dinos, and it makes sense that it's pretty small. And next on the list, we have a blue velociraptor that is not blue, <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. 
And again, I couldn't really find a real life movie image of this specific Velociraptor, so I'm so sorry in advance. Based on what we saw with Delta, it does look quite accurate. So anyway, because I couldn't find a real life like picture of this specific blue Velociraptor, I put it next to an epic Velociraptor scene screenshot from the Lost World Jurassic Park movie from 1997, and here are my thoughts nonetheless. In general, I really love how they made a new color of a new Velociraptor, this time in blue. It has to be one of my favorite variants up to date, simply because of how awesome the colors look together. The awesome leg pieces with the great looking claws and detailed face mold and printing make it look even more epic. The printing on the back and the head is also very nice, with a dark navyish blue and light grayish blue color scheme going on and looking really well together in my opinion. The base color of the dino is some variant of a medium tone tan, which I am a big fan of. And again, I'm so sorry I couldn't find an exact match for this dino. Hopefully the one, the screenshot I've included from the older movie will do it justice. Anyway, that pretty much wraps up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. What are you waiting for? <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Bye for now.